This is definitely a difficult passage, but remember that your task is not to come up with some elaborate summary of what you're reading. The answer choices in the question provide for summaries of the lines, so your job is just to choose the summary from what you're given that matches best with what you're reading. So if we take a look here, there's also some clear connotations that we can pull out of these lines. We see things about um, the, the press and uh, there's torrents of abuse, misrepresentations upon the decision and the poisonous shafts of partisan malice, but they will fall harmless at their feet while the judicial decisions will stand in all future time, a proud monument to the greatness, admiration, good and wise, right? So there's clearly a contrast between negative and positive. So let's use that to help us with the choices. So why does Douglas mention a future time? To suggest that criticism of the court's decision will be short-lived. Well, yeah, the criticism, the, the negative stuff that I highlighted is going to go away because in future time, the court will be admired for its decision. So that seems to work. I don't know that it's an exact match, but it's certainly not something that I can prove wrong based on the dumb summary that I've already come up with. Let's look at choice B. Predict the consequences of violent resistance to the Constitution. There's some strong words here, the strongest probably being violent, right? They're talking about people criticizing a decision. That's a big leap to go from criticizing it to violent resistance. There's no bloodshed here. So this is a big leap. I also take issue with the word predict. It doesn't really seem like a very concrete prediction, but maybe we can make that fit because he's predicting that the decision will be admired in future times. So that's not so bad, but maybe violent, that one really sticks out to me and makes this choice seem wrong. C, contrast the partisan politics of the day with the views of the Founding Fathers. Well, they're never mentioned, so that seems wrong. And D, praise abolitionists for their protests of the court's decision. So this choice does include some positive and negative ideas, but it flips the meaning of what he's saying. He's not praising the people who are protesting. He's praising the decision itself, and he's criticizing the protesters, criticizing the people who have a problem with the decision. So this is the wrong order of the connotation. And that leaves us with A, which is the answer. So remember, if a passage is hard to understand, it is not your job to understand everything. It is your job to understand enough that you can find the summary, the choice, that matches best with what's going on. That's a much easier task, and especially on the history passages, it's the task to try to achieve.